Hey everybody, Alan Burl here, uh, aka Steel Tines on Instagram and the co-host of uh, High Country Carnage YouTube hunting program. Uh, so what I want to do today is I want to explain one of our mega sponsors, which is the Crimson Talon Broadheads. These things are just, you hear us every day on video, every day out in the field, talking to everybody about these awesome uh, broadheads. Most devastating fixed blade broadhead that I can even imagine telling anybody to shoot. Um, there's a lot of questions going around. Uh, and I've been shooting these broadheads since the day they were out years and years ago with the original owners. Uh, but with the twisted blade design, what people have to realize is the physics of the broadhead. The spinny blades, the spun blades are, are turned perfectly to where when it shoots, it wants to go. So that, that broadhead's coming at you you know, off of your bow immediately. So when you're at full draw, as soon as that you release that string, that arrow, the, the front of the broadhead is already wanting to spin and twist. So what that does for the average bow hunter uh, that shoots a fixed blade, straight blade, or an expandable that doesn't have any drag or anything like that, but with these broadheads, you've got to take in mind that it's spinning so fast that it can create, if you've got too big of veins, your veins might be hitting hitting your rest, your fallaway rest or your solid rest or whatever. I recommend to shoot uh, blazer veins is what I shoot, but I would say test the blazer vein down into the smaller uh, profile veins that you can uh, shoot with your bow with the high speed bows now you know it's spinning that broadhead even faster than the old school say back in the Matthews Drenlin days you know uh, but what we have to do is you have to self tune to you and your bow what's going to work the best for you but I'm going to show you today exactly what I do to tune these broadheads so first things first you have to have I don't have my broadheads. First things first is you have to have a perfectly tuned and cut arrow with either a short just insert or an outsert, but it has to be exact. If if your guy's sitting there on the saw and he's cutting a hundred thousand arrows a day and he gets a, he gets a little lazy, he's gonna end up you know not making a perfect ninety degree cut here. So you have to make sure you to, to have it exactly perfect. So you do the spin test. If it doesn't spin exact, I mean, this thing is tight. This one is perfect. If you get a little wobble, you got to figure out a way to get this thing exactly spinning true. If it doesn't spin true, with that spinning action, you're going to end up, getting a little bit of this going down range so that's the number one key uh, it should be for all of your broadheads you don't want any kind of motion in your arrow flight getting to that animal when you shoot so like i said get the smaller veins i mean realistically this is the blazer veins i i like to shoot all black that way there's no color flash you know as the arrows flying uh, to go through an animal, an elk, a deer, whatever. So, realistically, I would like to cut off just a slight eighth of an inch off the top of this blazer veins, but they have some out there, some target veins that'll be uh, a lot better. They could be a little longer and shorter profile. Uh, so, the reason behind that is that it's so frontal, self-sustainable, going through the air, that it... it Actually, they've done a test back in the day when they when they you know invented these things that it spins so fast with a little you know like a one pound of pressure on a arrow roller that it catches that wind and spins so many rotations per second you know so it's pretty cool and it, it it's self sustainable it actually shoots better without veins because what's going on is this is self sustainable from the front that all these are doing is slowing it down. See, when it spins in that air so fast from the front, 
these are dragging it. So that's why I say if you can get the smaller uh, veins, do it. And all you have to do is, you know, go get three or four, put it on your arrows and test it. Um, you know, you got to put in a little bit of time, but man, these, once you get these things flying money, they are, they're, they're an amazing broadhead. So, but what I also want to do is I'm going to go grab my bow and then I'm going to show you how I set it up on my string. And I'm going to show you that right now. 